Hi, my name is Laura Donlin, and in our lab, we work on the human immune system. Every project begins with the question, how can we improve care for patients? So what we're finding right now is that you may present in the clinic with what we call rheumatoid arthritis, but it may not always begin from the same point. So what we're doing is trying to understand molecular patterns in each patient's disease to better understand how to treat that particular individual. And to do this, we use a variety of tools, including genomic sequencing and analysis. So a lot of the projects in our lab are highly cross-disciplinary, and we bring together the scientists in my laboratory with the clinicians who treat these patients, and we come together and share information on the clinical and the scientific molecular levels. One of the conditions we've been looking at is prosthetic joint infections. And we've been looking to use a blood test where we can isolate a small fragment of DNA out of the blood, sequence it, and tell you what type of pathogen is inside of your joint. To do such high dimensional studies, we actually do require a fair bit of mathematical and statistical knowledge, as well as computational power to actually analyze much of the data that is produced from our patient samples. What I look for in my lab members are individuals with an intense passion for scientific discovery. There's nothing more thrilling than a young investigator coming to you with a, an idea that they're passionate about. So working at the HSS Research Institute, not only are we here next door to the hospital for special surgery, but we are amidst a neighborhood full of premier biomedical research institutes, including Memorial Sloan Kettering and Rockefeller University and Cornell Medicine. I derive so much joy from working with the clinicians here and the patients who are committed to being partners in our research endeavors. I can't describe how rewarding it has been to be a molecular biologist who can actually potentially have impact on patient care in the, in the near future.